edition of faith on the street and i'm sure you're like oh my god yeah i am too i've been wallowing in the field of awe because i don't know what this is if it's not a blessing to be with legends yes i am amanda elo and uh because the best voices are still in the church you might think it's a fallacy but i think that the best voices are found in the church still and i'm with some of them here you might know them as vocamonics you might know them by their individual names i don't know but i'm with them today and we're going to be having a good time only if you stay here on faith on the street <laughs> Guys, how are you all doing? <laughs> okay, so I, I don't know if I should, if there should be an introduction one by one, or should, we should just go with the vocamonics and just move on. <laughs> okay, please, please, let's do this. So just, just tell us who you are. You need the microphone? Okay. Ocha David is my name. I'm the beatboxer. Okay, my name is Samuel Mpuma. I am the soprano singer. Okay, my name is Samuel Bassi. I'm an alto singer. It's really hard to believe he's the alto singer with that voice, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Eno Imano, um, the tenor singer. Okay. And I'm um, Ocha Imano, the bass singer. Uh, you already know them now, apart from who they are as a group. I think that there are so many persons, remember this is the talent and faith episode, and I think there are so many Christians who are talented who do not know where to start from. Either because they've been discouraged by the church or because they think that what they have is not good enough for the world to see. Uh, but I think these people have to fight that, and we've seen what they do. They're on Instagram, they're everywhere on TikTok, so check them out and you'll see what I'm saying. I want to know, first of all, how this whole thing began. How did Vocamonics begin? Okay, um, Vocamonics um, um, started as a, a major between two groups. First there was um, D chords and then there was um, Vocal Harmony. So yes, D chords is another group. Why are you guys laughing? <laughs> because yes, D chords is another group and then there was Vocal Harmony. Now, um, there was a competition then in our church, we Winners Chapel, like myself and Emmanuel were in the same church and we wanted to join the competition 
So we are looking for something extra because everybody was going to go and do singing, dancing, and probably spoken word and that kind of stuff. Yeah, so everything was like cliche. We thought of something that would be different and then we started asking around. We already knew him and he would, his, their brothers actually, both of them. Yes. <laughs> so we knew him and then we brought him into the group as um, a tenor, no, as a bass singer. Uh -huh. Yes. Brought him into the group as a bass singer. And then we, he told us of his brother since he plays the drums. Like, oh. yeah. So he said his brother could, could, can play drums and be, he would be good for beatboxing and other kind of stuff. So eventually we came together. We were rehearsing along the line. Things did like this. He became the beatboxer. He became the bass singer. And then this young man, we met him at the competition and then he became our friend. He was friends with this guy. And then he became friends with the group. When we celebrate, we the pop champagne. We the pop champagne. We the pop champagne. And then we moved together like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah, and we won the competition actually. <laughs> <laughs> It was Winner's Talent Hunt. Winner's Chappelle's Winner's State State's State's Talent Hunt, yes. Well, it's quite difficult for you people not to win any competition. You right? think? <laughs> no, 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 no. You, don't, you actually don't want to know. There, there have been... There's been rejections. I didn't know that you've had... Yes, we've had several rejections. So, um, one time... <laughs> one time... Give her the most recent one. Please do it. <laughs> Okay, okay, well, um, the, the latest we had was a few months ago, I think June, July, and it was an online audition. We auditioned online, we got an email from them, only to go there and then we were rejected because we were a group. How we gathered cash to go to Lagos, it was begging. We had to, we had to literally make a video, beg our fans for money, contributions here and there, we travel to Lagos and back without anything. So... We've had rejection too. <laughs> Either because we are a group or just because of the magumagu -magu inside some competitions you get. So we are seeing human beings like that. <laughs> Speaking of rejections, I actually, you, you all know that this is Calabar. <laughs> this is Calabar, right? The capital city of Cross River State. And you all know I don't stay in Cross River. I will not tell you the full story of how I came to Calabar. But then it's, we keep moving. Just so you know that no matter what you see, uh, there are some behind the scenes rejections and we still keep moving on speaking of moving on and motivation i'd like to know what has kept this group going on because i know there are challenges here yeah? okay first of all i would say the bible said can two work together except they angry oh. okay we are not two we are <laughs> okay so first of all i would say there was an agreement between each and every one of us and then the passion the love though we've had um, pressures from parents you know loved ones and like are you sure this thing you're doing will actually produce results like yeah. you know especially <laughs> you know i know yeah, i <laughs> yeah it's still on very hard yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so our parents are like i mean you need to you need to plan your life you need to go to school this that yeah you know but man we are still here and we are still doing it then it's something we have chosen to do for life okay and you can actually see the result it's it's working so you don't necessarily need someone or you should say i have to tell you that it's working it's working it's working yeah. it's, it's working <laughs> It's working. <laughs> it's working and, and, and we are here and we are still pushing and we are still yeah. moving ahead. And there are more better results. Yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking, 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 of, speaking of results, I know that a lot of people have issues with um, talents in the church because you hear, I've had a series of um, episodes before this one and I had a certain girl, she sings too, and I asked her about she and her church story. I'm not going to tell you what she said, but then the thing is, we go to church and then we expect maybe our pastors or, you know, people around us to support us because it's like home for us, right? This is where we even pull out the most. This is where we give the most. We expect some sort of, you know, support. But in some cases, it seems like nobody gives us any, you know, we're just, so I don't know what you people think about. You might have a different opinion on this. People say you're in the church. They don't give you anything. You better leave there and move into the world and do what you want to do. What do we say about this? How much support have you gotten from the church? Um, all right. Yeah. 
first off, um, our fan base when we started was mostly the church. Oh, really? Yes. Since we started in church, um, teens, ah, a lot of teens. Oh, my God. So many teens. And then parents and stuff. So they started. Teenagers. Yes, teens, teenagers. So they kicked off our career uh-huh. with very, very great strength. We already had a lot of people following us. Our concerts, I think that was just one year into being a group or so. A lot of people we sold out. Uh-huh. So, all thanks to the church for that one. Okay, but finance. <laughs> I don't. I cannot say so much about finance because it's it's really sad. Like it's, it's so sad. Um, we go for gigs and they are offering five thousand naira. I was like, ah, April, April kidding. Five thousand naira. God bless you. Exactly. So we. I was like, no, yeah. What should we do with this? Well, okay. Oh, for God, now we we'll just take it. Or uh, well, sometimes we don't. <laughs> so um, we cannot totally condemn the church. They have done their part. Uh-huh. So all is left for us to do ours. So. I don't know if they have something yeah, to say but, about it. But, but really, I know, I know it's really, it's really scary. Anyway, the lady said in her own, she said, I think um, we shouldn't expect from the church because the church is um, where you come to render the service that God has no, rendered your gift as a service to God and we shouldn't expect more but I still believe too sorry I still believe too that we're human beings and to an extent if you don't support us with money there should be something else there should be something you do for us you know as well yes please say something um, the, I don't know I, I like to say the church is the, the number one corporate in, in terms of ripping off people's sweat yeah I, I stand corrected but um the same scripture says, or the same Bible says, um, the gift of a man makes room for him. So God has given us a gift to profit ourselves and then profit the church also. So we, we are not saying the church should give us money. We are not saying the church should give. But when I say us, I don't mean vocamonics. I mean creatives, every talent completely. The motivation in terms of, apart from money, what other value can we give? What other exposure can we give? If If... If you're a spoken word artist, apart from just giving you money, what other professional trainings can the church just cater for? You get, okay, you go here, study this course, I'll send you here, travel, just do something. But the, what, what you hear from pastors and our parents is, um, God has given you this gift, use it for the church. And, and serve. Uh, we, are not, there's, we are not saying we don't serve, there's service. But apart from service, uh, we are human beings. Exactly. Yeah. We can we can serve. So there's a whole lot of things. Um. I know, right? Yeah, and it's, so actually, Faith on the Street, uh, we hold um, Twitter conversations every Friday where people come. It's called an open mic conversation where you come out and you lay out these grievances because, funny enough, the church, when I say the church, I mean the church authorities, yeah. or, you know, some of them do not even know these things. So I'm glad you said this so they get to know that it's not just the finance we're asking exactly. for. We want more than this. Now I'm going to ask uh, the question since we're talking of talent again. Um, as far as Vocamonix is concerned, how do you all intend to serve God, to save souls with this talent? I'm guessing it's you. <laughs> okay, I almost say praise God. <laughs> okay, um, firstly, I'd like to say that the primary place of assignment for the believer is not inside the church, okay. but outside of the church. But I mean outside the body of Christ. Because um, before Christ came, he came for the unsaved and not for the saved. So before he came, there wasn't a body of Christ. There was He came as just Christ. Yeah. So after his death and resurrection, there became a place for us to build the body yeah. of Christ. So um, starting by saying the primary place of assignment for the believer is outside the church. Uh-huh. Because we are. it's not inside the church that we will find the souls to save. It's outside of the church. That is why I love Johnny Drew so much. There was something he said one time where he said, he said his calling is to shine his light the light that God has given to him from outside the church for everyone to see. And that is the same calling we've been called into. Because um, a lot of people, <laughs> I remember sometimes, because like you said, we started in the church, and at the point where we started going mainstream, uh, we got a lot of bashing from people. Ah, come on, people are backsliding, you are singing, you are singing that. Ah, ah. I'm like, oh God, first of all, we are not just... We are not just ministers. We are a business too. We are a business movement. So you don't expect us to just stay back and sing in 
um, praise God every time. We love God. We love God so much. We are all passionate Christians. So the, the, the plan is to shine the light God has given to us from outside of the body of Christ. In as much as we know that we are inside the body of Christ, we shine it to those who are outside and then draw them into the body. <laughs> I think that's, that's a summary. That's a summary. Yeah, because that, that's, you want to say something too? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, the music was initially intended for for a communication. So the church is, is another avenue that uses music. Music is not a god. Yeah, it's not just a church too. So vocamonics is a is an extension of the church. You get. So we use music not just for the church. We use music to extend its purpose to the world and as well as the church. So, and then. We, we do Christian content also, intentionally. We intentionally do Christian content. So if you want to be blessed, this is public show now. <laughs> so search for our Christian content, and I assure you, if you're not saved, you will be saved. You alone and my heart desire and I long to worship you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... Amen. 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 It, this, this is good because I think that's what I do. Because people are like, what are you doing? What are you, you're carrying the camera, walking up. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. Because I know I love the camera. I love to do this. So how about we use this thing we have to drag souls? No, not drag. Dragging seems like we're forcing somebody <laughs> to attract <laughs> souls. You, get, you, you read um, Dr. Ward Mill's book, you know. You read? <laughs> <laughs> are you saying no? <laughs> He reads. Okay. You know, that talks about that talks about so winning, you know, and agazon means to force, you know. You, there are some people that you necessarily have to force them, you know. Mm-hmm. You, know so they- you don't encounter vocamonics and you're not forced, actually. Yes, because they forced me down here. So basically, if you can see this, whoever you are, you do not, like they said, your gift could be an extension of the church, yeah? Yes, you, whatever you're doing, whatever it is that you're doing that is good, that is legit, make sure you do it to serve God, to bring souls to God. They see you in the office and they're like, where, where do you worship again? Because you were so good. And then they follow you to the church. So like, let's talk about stories because we share stories on Faith on the Street. And I know these amazing people have stories. They may not be where they want to be, but they, they, I think they're a lot um, away from where they used to be. Whatever this English sounds like to you, I'm sorry. <laughs> they're away from where they used to be. And it's a big deal. So I want to know, do you have specific stories you want to use uh, to drag people more? To Especially talents who are watching this, who are in their rooms, not sure where to begin from. Okay, I'll start by saying start small. Start small. Even scripture says, despise not days of little beginning. Yeah, so start small. We, are, we, we became four years old, um, second of this month. Yeah, we are just... I don't, <laughs> the group is four years old. But our first two years, we were just in Calabar, running up and down, doing stages in Calabar, until we got enlightened about going online. So our social media platforms are barely two years old. And in two years, starting from completely nothing, completely zero, we've been able to harness um, followership of about 200,000 from all platforms. And then um, we did not spend money on this we did not spend like the so-called promotion people do. Yeah, we have to pay hundred thousand for their content to be seen. It just took consistency and yeah. and approaching um, different approaches. Yeah, getting different results, attempting different 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 approaches, and then um, so start small. Yeah, and then to believe in the process. Yeah, so people people want to jump. Yeah, there are creatives that just want to start and then just immediately they want to be there. It never ever, it never ever goes well that way. So, Vocamonic started and in as much as there's that ginger, we want to blow, we want to, but at the same time, sometimes God intentionally or plans it in a way that we cannot skip any process. We just have to, from this level, from 100 followers to 200. When we started, there was a time where if we have 100 views, 100 likes on a content, we are very happy. Then, and then now, we, we are growing. <laughs> we are growing, we are growing. So, um, no matter what it is, and then do not be scared of making the mistakes. Yeah, f- do not be scared of making the mistakes. Mistakes are part of the process. There are times where we go back to our clips of one year ago, two years ago, and we are laughing. Some of them, some, some of them, we were forced to delete them. Yeah, so, so we just had to keep it there, just, just for the story. <laughs> 
just for the story. So the mistakes just make you learn, learn, get better and get better. And then that is it. And then the big picture also, since this is a Christian podcast, um, the Bible says, um, because of the glory that was set ahead of Christ, he endured the sufferings of the cross. So um, what, what are you seeing? What's that big picture ahead of you that gives you strength, gives you capacity to just keep enduring, enduring? For us, it's, it's a whole lot, but just capture, capture that thing ahead of you. He said, some people say capture it for, capture your picture for your future. <laughs> However, that, yeah, so if there's a vision clear and beautiful, that's what's going to compel you to keep pushing and keep pushing, keep pushing. There are some, okay, let me just say, two of us, two out of five of us are school dropouts. Mm-hmm. Uh, just consume that information. Don't, uh, just, just consume it. <laughs> so it, it, there, are, there are certain sacrifices that we, you have to make intentionally just because of where you're going to. But keep at it, keep at it. We are not there yet, though. But. Yeah. I don't know about that school part. God is definitely going to do something. Apart from the fact that they sing so well, they talk well. You know right now that these are eloquent human beings. And you hear how they preach and quote the Bible. I mean, I'm not using this as a standard, but I'm saying that these guys are amazing. Allow me to hype them, please. And they are humble, yes, because they do not know who I am. I, I did not. Okay, I'm not supposed to say that part. So I don't spoil business here. Yes, but I, they just, it's just a week and then they got me. You know, or rather, I, I got to them and I'm here right now. And we're doing this and they're willing to do this with me. God bless them, first of all. Secondly, I think these people will go places. Just in case. Just in case you see, see the amen. <laughs> I don't know if it's right to say it here, but they are single, yeah? They are single. They are single. Jerusalem, I love me. Oh my God! Okay, that was on a very lighter note. I appreciate you guys for doing this with me. I don't know if. If I need to pay you to sing, to do so, just one small. Of course, definitely, as far as this clip is concerned, we're going to be cutting some stuff from your Instagram and stuff and showing people. But, come on. Is there an original? Um, since we are in festive period, or we are approaching festive period. This is November, by the way, just remember. I think we should do something. On Christmas? Yeah, something on Christmas. Um, <laughs> Carol, <laughs> So this is not yet out. So if <laughs> it's, it's it's if you are hearing this, it will soon be out. So okay. just get prepared, all right? Uh-huh. I'm crazy as well. I need to move out of this video. Uh, no, no, do no, you, no, no, no. You can just you can, okay, just hold the mic. So yeah, so it gets to all of you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Every good. Every good.
guys learn these things? Like, how do you stay? How do you do these things? Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, okay. I'm not the only person who's awed by this, definitely. If you see this, please rush to Instagram, to TikTok, to everywhere and search for Volcamonix, V-O-C-A-M-O-N-I-X, Volcamonix. Not be me go tell you, you will eventually see this wherever you see this, from wherever, from whatever country. Just know that, uh, I want to say Nigeria's got talent, but let's leave that part. There are amazing people who serve God who are still wonderful in what they do. I appreciate you guys. Big time. This is so nice. Now, now you know where to go to. And do not forget to follow us on Faith on the Street. Subscribe on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, on Twitter. Everywhere. We're everywhere. We share our stories. We share your story. All we want is so you know you're not alone. Everybody knows what you're going through. We know what you're going through. And uh, together, we, we all breathe because it's, it's a tough world. <laughs> it's a tough world. They keep laughing. I don't know why they're laughing. I, I am Amanda Elo and Kalaba was worth it. Thank you. Thank you to you. Yeah.